Hi everyone, I'm Mike from Premier Trailer Leasing. We're always trying to find ways to make our customers' lives easier, so today we're going to be talking about our dry vans. We're going to go over some reasoning behind the design of the vans, along with some key inspection points that will help keep your freight moving. As an added bonus, we've also created a nifty cheat sheet that you can download at the link. Before we get started, it's important to think about how a trailer is built. We often think that a trailer is the simplest item in our fleet. It's just a box on wheels, right? Well, while that's true, it can be a little more complicated than that. One compromise to the integrity of the trailer could cause the box to collapse, or one item coming off the trailer on the highway could cause a safety issue. So it's important to understand our trailers and the maintenance that's required with them. Let's get started at the front of the trailer. This is a 2023 composite plate van trailer. First thing you may notice at the top right corner is a decal that's used as a unique identifier made up of letters and numbers. This information or the VIN information or license plate information can be looked up online to pull registrations, current renewals, or annual inspection information on premiertrailerleasing.com's website. You'll notice here at the front of the trailer there's a VIN plate. Like a car, each trailer has a unique VIN. Also like a car, an annual inspection is required and that's what this sticker right here is. This is what we call a registration bubble. This is going to be used to hold important documents such as the registration, current renewal, annual inspection information, or other important information that the driver may need during his trip such as manifest information. If you don't see one of these at the front of your trailer, look on the side of the landing lights because sometimes they're positioned there. You know how we said some people consider a trailer just a box on wheels? Well, that is true without a tractor, air, and power. A tractor is going to approach the trailer here and connect its fifth wheel to the kingpin. These glad hands right here are going to connect air to the trailer to safely control the brakes on the road. And this seven way right here is gonna connect power to the trailer to control the lights. This right here is a solar panel. What this will do is provide a trickle charge to the trailer's tracking device. You can look up on premiertrailerleasing.com where your trailer is at all times. All of these items on the front of the trailer are covered in a pre-trip inspection. So now, let's move on to the side of the trailer. On both sides of the trailer, you'll notice there's a lot of panels, rivets, and bolts. Usually a visual inspection is good enough to see if there's any cuts, holes, or other damage on the trailer that you need to be aware of before your trip. Some trailers are equipped with side skirts, which would make the trailer more aerodynamic and fuel efficient, and it, depending on your local regulation, may be required. Down the trailer, you'll notice this reflective tape to make it more visible at night, and right here is a mid-turn signal so that other drivers can see when the trailer is turning. At the back of the trailer, you'll notice that there's a door holdback right here. It's important to make sure that you have the appropriate door holdback for your trailer. Lastly, you'll notice the ABS light here. If this comes on after the initial startup during your trip, there's likely an issue that requires your attention. Now, let's talk about the tires. Tires are a critical component of every trailer. We've written an article about them because they're also the most expensive maintenance item on the trailer. You'll want to make sure that you're checking the condition of your tires and also maintaining at least the 230 seconds required legal tread depth. You'll want to check to make sure that the tires adjacent to each other are within 430 seconds. You'll also want to make sure that the tires are properly inflated and that you're checking to make sure that your valve stem is intact. You'll inspect your lug nuts to make sure everything is properly bolted, that your lubricant is filled, and that there's no obvious signs of leaking. At the front underneath the trailer, you're gonna see the approach plate here where the kingpin is connected to the upper coupler. This is where the tractor backs up and engages with the trailer here at their fifth wheel. You'll notice these bars going down the trailer. These are called cross members. You'll wanna inspect these for signs of damage or deflection during your pre-trip. Back here is the landing gear, which support the trailer when it is unhooked from the tractor. They have two speeds to move the legs up and down, 
And in the center here, you'll also want to make sure that you inspect your K-brace, as this is another important area. Further down, you'll notice a lot of wires and hoses hanging from underneath the trailer. Electrical is run from the front of the trailer to the back to power the lights, including the ABS light that we discussed earlier. These hoses are providing air from the glad hands back to the brakes so that the trailer can be safely operated. At the back of the trailer, you'll see the bogey. It is connected to the rail and the rest of the box via this clamp and this pin right here. This is an air release valve so that you can easily slide the tandems up and down the rail based on your application or state regulation. At the back of the trailer here, you'll see the airbag for the air ride suspension. With trailers, there's two types of suspension, air ride and spring ride. We've written an article about the benefits of both. Most of Premier's fleet's going to be air ride. It tends to be the preference of shippers, it's gentler on cargo, and improves driver satisfaction. Now we're at the rear of the trailer. First thing you'll notice about the trailer is the rear underride guard. These were added so that cars do not slide underneath the trailer in an accident situation. This is a swing door trailer. These doors are made of a composite material. When opening the door, it's important to check to make sure that you have a watertight seal as trailers travel through all kinds of different road conditions. When opening the trailer doors, it's important to make sure that you have the door properly secured. Other doors commonly used are roll-up doors. The advantage of a roll-up door is that it can be easily opened from a warehouse's dock. However, with the roll-up door, you lose two to three inches of height at the top, so the best door type for you will depend on the application. Now let's take a look inside the trailer. The first thing you'll notice inside the trailer is the threshold plate. This is to prevent damage to the wood floor from the warehouse's dock plate. Going down the length of the trailer, you will see the scuff liner here. This is to prevent damage to the sidewalls while the trailer is being loaded and unloaded. These here are logistics posts. These help secure cargo inside the trailer. At the front of the trailer, you will see the cargo sensor right there. The benefit of the cargo sensor is that you can go on the Premier portal and check and see if your trailer is loaded without even leaving your office or going out onto your yard. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed our little dry van demonstration. If you have any questions about semi-trailers, please reach out to a member of our team. We're happy to help keep your freight moving.